You may start seeing more drones in the sky. The FAA has released a new set of rules for commercial drone use. Some companies are planning to use drones for dangerous jobs like inspecting towers and antennas. They're hoping to reduce the number of yearly worker accidents and deaths. But of course, there are some restrictions that come with this. So this means that commercial operators can fly drones without the special permission that they used to have to get from the government, which was a bit of a lengthy process, cost a lot of money as well. But let's talk about some of these limitations. So no more than 55 pounds operated only during daylight hours and then it has to be within sight of the person who's operating that drone. I think this was the big one of the bigger ones. No flights near pe over people or near airports. We saw that causing a couple of problems. Sure, like stadiums or things like that. Exactly. Airports, of course, you know, make crowds. Sense. Yeah. Yeah, but also, Matt, the pilots do need to pass not necessarily a pilot's exam, but at least an aviation knowledge test. Right. So before, if you wanted to operate one of these things, you had to have a pilot's mm -hmm. license. Mm -hmm. Now this is just kind of a general aviation exam, probably a little bit easier of an entry point for hobbyists and people that aren't flying planes. And we talk about safety on the side of, okay, the limitations. We obviously don't want drones falling into crowds of people or, you know, crashing into airplanes. But, Ali, I mean, the fact that they could use this to inspect towers that were otherwise very dangerous jobs, that could be huge. Well, yeah, you look at maybe they could be used for uh, people looking at the top of roofs, mm -hmm. top of buildings. And then even I saw one uh, job for police. It's mm -hmm. a way for them to maybe possibly look for missing people, especially when you think about how maybe difficult it could be to get a helicopter in the air if there's a missing person that they're sure. trying to find. Mm -hmm. That could be a great way to help uh, government. I can't wait till we get the WCCO drone <laughs> four in the air. And journalists will be allowed yeah. to use these too. And you think there are a number of stories where having that overhead perspective First of all, it's useful, but if you could do it without flying the helicopter, mm -hmm. yeah. it's cheaper, it's Save less uh, irritating to neighbors that have the loud noise of a helicopter overhead. I think it's great. Uh, one of the other limitations that I didn't mention, can't go higher than 400 feet. Okay. So you think about the Fauché Tower in downtown Minneapolis. That's a good example of uh, right about that area. Yeah. This is, I think it's really cool to think about the future and what this will lead to. You think about real estate agents using it to get those aerial oh, shots, yeah. farmers to count cattle. So I think huh. filmmakers can use this yeah. now. We're not getting deliveries yet, though, are we? No, no deliveries. I did check, though. This is something that Amazon would like to use. So imagine, Brickman, I know you're big into diapers right now. So you could big. get diapers delivered <laughs> to your doorstep. Uh, Wouldn't no, that be nice? That would be so creepy. <laughs> that would just be weird. So I will go to Target and do not need the drone. It's fine. I can get in the car. <laughs> <laughs>